day, um, I think they were Kishijan, and we are at Thomas Adewumi University, where Indaba X Nigeria 2023 was held. We have the keynote speaker, Professor Abejide Ade Ibijola in our midst today. He's a professor of artificial intelligence and application at Johannesburg, South Africa. Good day, sir. Good afternoon. So please, what um, exactly is artificial intelligence and how does it work? Well, AI is the dream of computer scientists and many other people in philosophy to try to test computers at what humans do without having any problems. So humans, uh, they have a mind and if you can get a computer to have a mind, then you could refer to that computer as intelligent. There are many other mundane tasks that humans do every day, one of which is walking around, for example. So if a, a machine can move around, that is robotics. If a machine can see like you and I, that's computer vision. It's been a long dream of humans to get computers to be as smart as we are, and that is AI. So what do you think is the future of artificial intelligence? Well, given that humans are generating a lot of data, because uh, if you look at it, um, computers need to learn from us. And because you and I will not sit with them all day to tell them what we know, they go to the internet and they learn from everything you and I have posted, books, pictures, all of that. And given the fact that now they are faster than before, if they could learn on all of our data that we are generating with a fast pace, then they would learn a lot. And I'm sure you know about the recent advancement in AI, which is ChatGPT. So the language model of ChatGPT, for example, has consumed so much data that it could write texts that make sense like humans. So the future will be that machines will get to do a lot. Mundane tasks will disappear. A lot of jobs are going to disappear, which is always a concern. But then humans can also free up a lot of time to do more strategic work and less of routine tasks. So what do you think has kept Africa behind in artificial intelligence? And how do you think, what's the way forward for Africa? Well, for starters, infrastructure. So you don't talk of AI when you're in poverty. So a big chunk of African countries struggle with poverty, uh, a lot of displacements in rural areas, insecurity, corruption. So most of the places you don't even find electricity there. You cannot find young people with access to laptops. And the quality of education is also not good. So before Africa can actually step, if Africans can step to the scene and be part of this discussion, they need to sort all those issues out. And training needs to happen at the best form possible. Many young Africans need to be trained well to learn how to code, get exposed to all this AI infrastructure and, and technologies. And then we can begin to say we would have a, and we have a young population, that's the positive part. So we can equip this young population with investment in infrastructure and then let everywhere be a little bit more peaceful then we can have an agenda to be part of the AI discourse. Okay, so do you have any prediction on how long this will take, the solution? Great stuff. I think leadership will do it. Africa is very rich, so the money is here, the gold is here. Um, another aspect is data. So at Thomas Adewumi University, for example, the leadership of Thomas Adewumi University under Professor Francisca Oladipo is doing a lot of work in terms of making data accessible, African data sets. So training machines to understand Africa, we need you to get the data set good. So in terms of prediction of how long it will take, leadership like that could be very paramount to, to that kind of discourse. So in my head, I wouldn't give it a time. I would just say, get a good leader, then the countdown has begun. Okay. So how was your stay in Thomas Adewumi University? Fantastic, beautiful people. Uh, my favorite part are the students. They are well disciplined. They move around like tactical force. They're always paying compliments on the corridors. And the management is doing a great job. I think given the, that the institution has been in existence for only two years, I would say that is the fastest I've seen growth happen, especially hosting something like Indaba X on that scale. So I give kudos to the management of, of that team, of, of the investor. So would you like to visit Stonside? Absolutely. Not Absolutely. for something formal, maybe an informal event? The Pandadium is really good. I would, I would, I would visit again for that one. Okay. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for having us. We hope to see you. Thank you. Absolutely, I'll be back. I'll be back before you know it. Okay. Thanks. Thank you for joining us. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.